What's up everyone? It's your boy Terry. Speaking from the garage shop again. Get off you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah. Oh man. Well, you know, trying to get the garage shop nice and clean because we got a lot of projects coming in here. And uh, you want to have a nice clean shop, but we're not talking about that today. No, what we're going to be talking about is lately I've been getting a lot of questions asked about lower control arms and adjustable control arms because I did a video a while back and people want more information. So I called my good friends over at Spawn Performance and they sent me a box. So let's go over to where I keep my parts. It's right over there, the box. And uh, let's see what they sent me. It's like Christmas. So before we even get started, what you want to do is you want to hit that subscribe button because like I said, I keep on saying this, there's going to be some serious, serious videos coming down the pike and we're going to have some guests come up in here. It's going to be live, so you do not want to miss it. So you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, that bell's got to be punched. You know, it's looking kind of fresh and so you want to dent that bell up. So make sure you punch that bell because that way you will get notified whenever Coverman66 puts a video out. And like I said, you want to be a part of it. All right, now, first thing I want to do, I want to thank Steven Spohn, Gordon, Dan, and my man Brandon over at Spohn Performance and all the good people over there hooking a brother up with some new rear control arms for the Trailblazer SS. This is some serious, serious piece of equipment. And we're going to go over the control arms and we're going to compare them to stock. And these are adjustable, the upper and lower. This is the upper and they're adjustable. They got the Zerk fitting and they got the polyurethane right here and they got a metal sleeve. And, uh, and, and also, if you, with the Trailblazer SS, if you have an airbag suspension, they got provisionings for the sensor. Now, we all know that I deleted the airbag system out of my Trailblazer SS. If you wanna know how to do it, check out the video above and I'll show you step by step. So just in case you wanna remove your airbag system and go with a coil system, you'll have no problem. Now, as I said earlier, I get a lot of questions, a lot of questions, and I appreciate it keep them coming. People are asking more information about the, the rear, upper and lower control arms. Do I need an adjustable one? What are the reasons? So we're gonna go over it. First thing we gotta do, we gotta get a stock control arm. And I just happen to have one. Now, this is the original out of the Trailblazer SS. As you can look, it had a rubber bushing and the metal, is all right, and it had provisionings for the sensor, which I'm no longer using. Now this has no adjustments. This is, what you see is what you get. And uh, it's the same with the lower. There's no adjustment. It's pretty much the same deal, just a little bit longer. So you can't really do anything but except put it back to factory with these, which is fine if you're not doing any type of modification, if you're not lowering your truck. But most of us are lowering our vehicles and they're dragging the vehicles or either racing the vehicle where you may need a little less, a little bit more pitch angle, and you can't really change it with the stock setup. And this goes for just about any type of car that has a rear, upper, and lower control arm. Why would someone need an adjustable lower control arm? It's very simple. Whenever you lower your car, do some type of modification to it, or either change the pitch angle, that's gonna affect the positioning of the wheel. You ever go to a car show and you're looking at a profile of a car, and, you, and, and something just looks wrong where like the wheel is a little too far back or a little too forward, you know, that's because he probably lowered his car. And you gotta remember from the factory, these cars never came out perfect. So that wheel is sitting a little too close to the front of the, the wheel opening as far as, and it's also sitting a little, maybe sitting a little too far back with an adjustable control arm, you can control that because you can position that wheel in the back, you can position the rear wheel, the rear axle to, look perfect. Anytime you do a modification, you could just go in there, you know, like loosen up these uh, these lock nuts and change and turn this. It'll either expand or you can bring them in. So that way you can move the wheel anywhere you want. That's the beauty of an adjustable lower. The adjustable upper control arm. This controls pretty much your pitch. Anytime you lower the car, just like the lower control arm, your pitch angle is gonna change. Whenever you do some modification to the transmission, you wanna check and make sure your pitch angle is on point. Now, if you guys remember, the Trailblazer SS right here was an all-wheel drive vehicle. I made this a rear-wheel drive. So, 
On top of lowering it, I took out the trans axle, had the transmission rebuilt, got a longer drive shaft, so there was no way possible that the pitch angle was going to be dead on as it was from the factory. So no, this adjustable upper control arm will give me the ability to raise or either lower the pitch angle of the, the rear differential. Okay, so right now, let's go do it real quick. You got your transmission, right? And then you got your, your rear differential. Between the two is what's known as a drive shaft. Now you wanna make sure the rear differential and the transmission, the end of the transmission are in degree with each other because if they're not, you're gonna get all types of vibrations at low speed, high speed. So with the adjustable upper, it gives you that maneuverability where you can move it up, move it down to whatever degree you want, especially if you're racing the car, you may want a little bit more degree off launches, whatever, you got that ability to make that adjustment and it can be done with an adjustable upper rear control arm. I'm gonna install these boys and uh, come with me. Now my application with the weight on the car, I'm able to remove the control arm without taking the wheel off and lifting up in there. I really take the other bolt out, the second bolt out. And like I said, don't take chances. You know, even though I got the truck on blocks of wood here, I got the rear diff supported. So don't take chances. Now we're getting ready to install the new lower control arm, but before installing, I like to put a little super lube on the polyurethane bushings. Because even though we got the Zerk fittings, there's nothing wrong with getting all kinds of generous with the lube. I slide this in, and when I'm ready to push the other end in, I'll get all generous with this side as well. Okay, I'm just gonna snub them in until I get the uppers removed and installed, and then I'm gonna torque them to spec. Now I got the upper control arm out and it's looking good, but let me show you something, come here. I'm about ready, you know, metal prepping it, I'm gonna shoot it real quick with a nice coat of black, uh, what's called sand it down, wait for that convert. But, you see that? That comes from the inner of my wheel rubbing against the the inner housing of this and this is part of the the body of the car well that could be a few things the wheel is too far forward where with the lower control arm the adjustability i'm able to push it back a little or the pan hard bar needs to be adjusted a little bit more square over the rear end either way thanks to the spone adjustable lower control arm and the spone pan hard bar i'll be able to correct this i got all kinds of adjustability going on here <laughs> The Spone upper and lower adjustable control arms have been installed. You know, all I gotta do now is make sure that the wheels are set in the right position and the pitch angle. But that's another video for another day. And I hope that this answered all your upper and lower control arm questions that you have. And if you have any more, you know how to reach me. I'm not a hard brother to find, but this time I wanna say thank you guys very much because it's all about the caring and sharing the knowledge. And like I always say, and I always say, and I will continue to say it, there is no me without you. So please continue being the awesome people that you are. And as always, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.